I can't believe The night lay waste all we give You've gotta know that this ain't living But we could run From Elysium And let it burn, let it burn You've gotta know Nothing lasts forever. I'm Lawrence, I'm out here at Coolum with Dunlop Media. Having a bit of fun before we uh, sort of hang the boots up for a little bit, get all the house sold, get everything sorted before we uh, make the big trip overseas. Um, been fortunate enough after Spain, uh, El Molar this year for the Junior World Championships, um, been approached by CLS Monster Energy Kawasaki MX2 Racing Team, and we've sort of been talking back and forth, and we've um, been lucky enough to sign a four year contract with them um, over in Europe. Um, so next year, I'll be racing the EMX 250, which is, is similar to MX2, but it's just it doesn't have any age cap. Where MX2 has an age cap of 23 or 24, I think. So um, it's not just a, an under 19 or a, a sort of side class. It's still a, a European Championship, which um, yeah, all the guys that uh, exceed the age limit from MX2 and don't get an MX1 gig or a ride for the 450s, they just sort of go back down to EMX, it's also um, a bit cheaper as well, so I'll be doing that, <coughs> cut my teeth in on all the tracks, uh, learn some race craft, and um, yeah, just looking forward to working hard over there, just learning and learning, just, because um, obviously, there'll be more hard work than glory next year, um, it's not gonna be easy, and I'm, I'm ready for that, I'm, yeah, really keen and eager just to get over there, and. Uh, just start working and learning everything and learning the lifestyles and the cultures and, and just growing with all the races over there. So, no, it should be good. At the moment, just finished up the Junior Australian titles at Bunbury, um, Western Australia, just a couple of weeks ago. And um, uh, fortunate enough to wrap up both titles on the 125 and 250, so that's good to close the year out with. Um, really big shout out to Scott Bishop and Mike Ward. Um, these guys have helped me out so much. I've only been with the GYTI Yamaha team for, for one, one year and they've uh, really made me feel like I've been on it for my whole life. So massive shout out to them. Um, Bell helmets, pod knee braces, skull candy, Ethica, 12 clothing, um, Dunlop tyres, Sony action cam, um, everyone that's been just a part of an awesome year. Uh, I had a broken collarbone at the start of the year, other than that I haven't had any injuries so yeah, all in all it's been a good year. Um, looking forward to, to ending it on a good note um, and then yeah just starting again I suppose. Uh, November, uh, mid-November we fly out um, hopefully to Belgium. Um, get sorted, get all dialed in there, and um, yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be a fresh start from uh, house-wise, living-wise, everything, you know, rock up to the airport, two gear bags in your hands, and here we go, we start again. Um, go through buying a car again, finding houses. Um, so yeah, no, it'll be good. Uh, massive, massive change, so really looking forward to it. But yeah, just wanna really thank everyone that's helped me out this year. It's, um, your help does not go unforgotten, that's for sure. I really do appreciate it, so thank you.
down here at Roy's Road. Um, this is where we've done most of our training uh, for all of our sand races um, coming and for lead up to Bunbury in Western Australia. Um, probably 40 second lap time, not much really, but it's five minutes down from, our, from where I live, so it's what we got. It was awesome to go over and be a sponge and um, just learn and, and look at everything they do on the bike and, and off the bike and stuff and it was just really good to learn um, what it's like to basically be a professional motocrosser and especially with Josh um, as someone that's been over in Europe and been on the box many many years um, for MXGP podiums and stuff in championship overall so I um, really did learn a lot from him and he helped me out, had a big influence um, especially in the lead up. Uh, to Spain, um, which is what I was training for over there sort of thing. So um, yeah, we, we learned a lot. Um, learned a lot about bikes, off the bikes, um, just everything in the whole package to be the best you can be on a dirt bike, I suppose. So um, no, it was good. So um, yeah, massive shout out to Josh and Jay Wilson as well. He's uh, one of Australia's best role models at this time, I think, um, up with Toddy Waters and, and um, Gibbsy and stuff. So. No, he's doing awesome. He's a current MX2 Australian uh, motocross champion, so um, hopefully we can see him get some more good results under his belt. But no, top bloke. Um, it was good to hang out with him and uh, Sam Robinson, the mechanic at JCR. So it was, uh, it was a good trip, and uh, yeah, can't thank him enough for that.